Hello everyone, Kate here from Kate Crafts, sharing with you another project for Hollow Tree Hobbies. Let's get started. So to kick things off, I am using scraps that I had from my previous project that I did last week. And if you don't know which one that was, uh, go ahead and watch that video after you've done watching this one. Or vice versa. <laughs> So here I've got myself a leftover piece of acetate as well as some spiffier speckle paper by Lawn Fawn. And I'm just using my grid mat here to line up where I need everybody to be so I can add that piece of acetate as close as I can to the edge. So next I'm going to take my guillotine trimmer and I'm going to trim everything down to fit within a four and a quarter by five and a half card front. So what we are doing here is we're creating a bit of a window card, if you will. So here I'm just shaving everybody down so I have some nice clean edges. And then we are going to take our card here. And I've gone ahead off camera and kind of eyeballed where I need it to be. And I ended up cutting it just slightly too short. But don't worry about that. We are going to fix that in just a second. So I'm going to grab some double-sided tape here and we are going to get some double stick going on because I want to make sure that this has got some really nice adhesion because this is going to be the support for the front of the card. So I'm going to go ahead and go around my edges here with some liquid glue. That way we can add it to the front of our panel here and everything will be nice and secure. So I'll go ahead and line that up and then I'll give that a good mash down. And as you can see, that little bit is kind of hanging over. So I have that scrap of spiffier speckle and we are just gonna add a little thin st strip of the front here, or sliver of the front, just to cover up that seam. And it kind of brings in the inside to the outside of the card, if you know what I mean. So once we've got that down, I've gone ahead off camera and trimmed off the little edges. Now, with my last video from last week, I had had all these extra little bits of circles from the die. Anyway, I was cleaning up my desk after I had made that card and thought, wouldn't this be a great use of my scraps? I could make myself a second card and have it very simple, much like the first, but without all the shaker bits all over the place. <laughs> so all I'm doing here is I'm adding some some adhesive to the back of the little circles here with some double stick. So we've got our little tape runner here and we are going to add in some Barely Arts glue because we are gluing on acetate and I want to make sure that this has some good adhesion because this might sit in the pile for a while and I don't want anything to lift up or come loose if you know what I mean. So that's why I enjoy double sticking things. So I have that long-term adhesion for commitment to the paper. <laughs> so again, just going around the edges here with some glue and giving that a good mash down. And then off camera, I have gone ahead and stamped out the I look up to you sentiment from the Woosh Kites set by Lawn Fawn. And I'm just cutting this down to fit in the little panel itself because I don't want the back side of this to be showing on the acetate. I kind of want this card to look like you're getting a two tone front panel card with some circles and a little image. And then when you open it up, it's like, oh, hey, look, this is actually kind of cool. I thought about putting a little bit of grass down there for the little mice to be standing in, and then I decided against it. So here I'm just going to add a little bit of double stick off camera and some glue, and we are going to line that up on our card base as best as we can. And then we'll go ahead and do the same for the other half of the sentiment, except I'm going to forego the double stick method for this one and just use a lot of glue. So once that's all nice done lined up, we are going to do the same for the little mouse here. I'm not going to add any double stick to this guy because this is paper gluing on paper and I feel I'm pretty confident about that. So again, <laughs> with the kite, we are going to add some more of the Barely Arts glue and we are going to go around the edges just to make sure we get a good stick. And then we'll go ahead, line that up and give that a good mash down. So now that we're on the inside of the card, you can kind of see what I mean by seeing the back sides of the little circles. So because this actually cut out 
um, quite a few circles for me. We are going to go around the back side with the extra circles just to kind of tie the front into the inside of the card. And this will be just a nice little added surprise for the recipient. And because I ran out of double tape right there, I'm going to just glue the back sides together and hope for the best. <laughs> so once we've got that and we are going to add the next one in and the next one. And I don't know what it is about this card that just popped into my head. I decided that this was going to be a fun thing to do. And I don't know, it's a little bit different from my traditional A2 size cards. I don't, I don't do the little windows very often as I opt for the more traditional ones. So here you have my finished card. I really hope you enjoyed today's projects using up my scraps. And as always, thanks for hanging out with me today. Take care.